Welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we are going to take a look at what I believe to be the most complete PDF editor software that we have seen so far. And we have seen quite a few. It's probably not the simplest one, but it's quite easy to use and really, really complete. It has all and more than what I need in terms of tools. Now it's available for Windows 10 and 11. I will leave a link down below and also for other versions of Windows just in case you want to check that out. Link down below and I will also leave a link just in case you don't have activated your Windows 10 or 11 for Keys fans where we'll find budget official OM Keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code you will get even an extra discount. Now in terms of installation it's really easy. Just download it, install it on your machine and that is it. We are ready to start using. Taking a look at the interface first of all just so that you have an idea on how it feels there is something that pops up which is the automatic adjustment of the text depending on the size that we have our window and that was a really smooth and great experience something that it's not yet common on this type of software but I really really enjoyed. Now if you take a look at the top bar we will find right over there the menu the main menu we have the view the annotations the editing conversion and so on and so forth a lot of options right over there and just below we have the selection of tools that will be part of every single menu that we have on the top so as we can see there are a lot of options right over here because every single menu has a lot of dedicated tools just below now on the left side we will also find a really nice toolbar we will find the bookmarks which is great we can create bookmarks to organize our pdfs which is something that sometimes we forget and then it's more difficult we also have the preview view and the attachments section basically we can insert any attachments on the pdf itself so when we save it and later on we will read it i will have images and text and whatever i did place as an attachment right over there which is really really cool there are some basic things that we can use the software just as it is we don't need to register we don't need to purchase a license whatsoever i can for example insert images without any issues whatsoever i can rotate pages and a few more situations that we can do just free to use so if you are a basic user you can use it like this on the other hand if you are a more experienced user and you want to take full advantage of the software then we will need a license and at the moment of the recording the lowest price that i saw was 3.3 euros per month if i'm not mistaken but prices changed so check out the link down below and you will be targeted to the website and see the price at the moment that you are watching this video. What we can do with the pro version is a lot more. Now in terms of editing we can start by highlighting underlined text, strike through, we also have the highlight of a area which I really enjoyed that one insert lines insert arrows in a really easy manner without any issues without complications we can write with our own hands using the mouse or of course using a digital tablet those that we have with digital pens which is also great and there is a really nice area which is the stamp area we can use already made stamps or we can create our own stamp very similar to signatures but we will talk about signatures in just a few moments now besides all this if i want to write text uh, this is something that we can do at least in two ways the typewriter which will behave like a typewriter but my favorite one is to insert text like if i was working on microsoft word i can select the font that i will use i can select the color i can select the size of the font and then just write text anywhere that i want on the page now we can also delete pages if we are not happy with that particular page on a document if we want to erase it we can rotate them as we saw earlier and we can of course insert new pages from other PDFs that we have single pages or more than single pages and we can also reorganize all pages with the order that we find suitable. Besides all this we can also convert PDF to 
a lot of formats word excel powerpoint images cat and so on i did try out with word because it's something that we usually do here on all the software just to see how good it would get and i would say that it's really really good now it's not 100 percent because the text recognition sometimes is really hard depending on the pdf that we get usually I do get pdfs from pdf file drive and some of them are more difficult than others to read but the software did a great job now there is also and there are a lot of also 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 things that i did love on the software and one of those is the different tabs that we use on the software to work so i don't need to open a document and then close and open another one i can just work with the tabs like we were on explorer like we were on Chrome or Firefox or something like that. I do believe that this is a small touch, but it will increment with other small touches that the software does have, and it gives us a really great experience. And this was also one of the things that I really enjoyed using. If we want to compress, there's also that option right over there. I did test it out. We could change a file that was 11 megabytes to 2 megabytes security we also have a lot of options encryption with passwords and on the same tab we also have the signature that i was talking about earlier on now in terms of the signature we have a lot of options we can create by a already made image i can write the text with my name for example or i can write with my hands i didn't have a pen with digital tablet at this moment but i did with the mouse just as an example and then in terms of inserting it on a document it's really easy i just need to press signature and it will allow me to select which signature i want to use on that particular moment then i can place it where i want and that is it is this only the features that it has no it has a lot more features as you had the chance to see some of them that we didn't cover but it would take me whole day right over here to explain all and I do believe that I wouldn't do as good job as you will do if you try it for yourself and see if those options, those features, characteristics are enough for your work or not. Hopefully they are. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that you enjoyed to know a little bit better about Swift to PDF editor. If you did, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really, really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.